of cars right there. Um, I don't see any CHP, there we go, CHP vehicle. It, um, do you guys know which car this is? Is it, the, is it the truck? Is it the pickup truck? It's the pickup truck, okay. We are told that this is the pickup truck. You can see him uh, weaving through the traffic, uh, going over onto the right-hand side. At least one CHP vehicle in pursuit. A pickup truck, it looks like we see at least one passenger. It's not clear what the suspect is wanted for. We are efforting more details on this, but you can see the suspect um, there on the right-hand side. And we getting off on an off-ramp right now, and we are told that the suspect is possibly suicidal, getting off on this off-ramp, uh, possibly going to, I believe, did you say his home? possibly going to Huntington Park, making a left-hand turn in the middle of all that traffic. Uh, you can see the truck. I don't know if CHP is right behind, but uh, this is the information that we are getting. The suspect, uh, unknown what he is wanted for, but he is in that truck now on surface streets going to Huntington Park. You can see him coming up on a, a crowded intersection. A sky map is up. You can see right there, which shows us exactly where, what street the suspect is on, Eagle Rock Boulevard, he will cross that intersection along with Verdugo, at least one or to two, we see CHP officers behind him, he has uh, stalled and is moving around traffic right now, going through the intersection, making a right-hand turn, this should be, Ver this should be Eagle Rock, Eagle Rock Boulevard, I believe, um, and as far as we can see, if we could uh, zoom in possibly and see, to get a glimpse of that suspect, but um, that pickup truck has been on the road now, getting off of the freeway, off of the westbound 210 freeway, now on surface streets, and possibly a suicidal person. Well, with one of the interesting things about that part of this chase is the way the person was able to stop at that intersection and kind of merge into traffic. It, it hasn't been quite as reckless as we've seen in some cases in the past, so with any luck, this person will continue. Well, that was a, somewhat going through there fairly quickly in the intersection. But always you have to consider the state of mind in something like this. And uh, it's just troubling. They want to make sure that they're protecting anyone around this chase, as well as trying to talk this person out of whatever they're doing. And we can see uh, that Sky Map has him on Weldon Avenue and Roderick Road in a neighborhood and uh, going around um, the curve right there. CHP right behind him, but uh, a lot of time these pursuit suspects, you know, it's a danger to the public or what they're doing, trying to get away and ignoring and traffic laws and putting other people at risk. But when you have someone who you know has been labeled as being suicidal, certainly they don't care about um, the safety of others and themselves. We see him stopping right now. Well, now we had have, we have word that he might be going to his home mm -hmm. in Huntington Park. Um, so we don't necessarily know if maybe he is familiar with this particular location here, um, but you know they'd like to establish some sort of communication with this person so that they can uh, end this peacefully. But now the person has stopped here. There's no going back in the direction that this person came from. Uh, but it does look like there. as if he could still go forward if he chose to. The question is, is that person armed? It looks like he is giving up. Hopefully, that would be a good ending to all of this. We saw the person take off his seat belt. We believe it.
very unusual situation and a very unusual ending. Now, the LAPD just told us a short while ago that in their consideration, no crime has occurred. This was a person who called law enforcement saying they needed medical help, and they ended up there in that house that you see behind me. But again, they called up the CHP saying they needed medical help, and then things escalated. Now, all of this started at around 8.40 this morning when the call came to the CHP. Somehow the person, Roberto Uribe, was in his vehicle, and the CHP then was behind him in a pursuit. It went on for a while through Atwater Village and Glassell Park, and at one point, a green van tried to stop him. It, that green van was actually parked, the truck, in the middle of the street. Uribe managed to squeeze through, and then the green van started following him. Now, it all ended at the family's home here on Weldon Avenue. Police surrounded the house. They had guns drawn, and it appeared to be a standoff. We saw three people running out of the house. Family members then decided to try to speak to the suspect on the phone, trying to calm him down. After more than an hour, the LAPD decided that this was not a dangerous situation and decided to pull out, and they're allowing the family to handle the situation. We did speak with a man's brother. He's scared. He's scared, and what's going to happen is everybody's going to clear out, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn him in. He's going to turn himself in. I guess he's under the influence of some drugs. From what I understand is he called up the police and then a uh, um, chase started and it led to the house. And since um, I guess it's not a, a crime wasn't committed because he called, I don't know. This, I don't, somebody just called me and I just showed up. At this time, uh, our agency is not looking as if there is a crime that has occurred. We're only here to make sure that this individual is uh, looked after and they're, uh, they're taken care of and everything is proper within the home. There are a couple of family members that are on scene and they're trying to talk to him into uh, uh, having a peaceful resolution and uh, that, that's exactly why we're all here. So again, a very unusual situation and a very unusual ending where police declare that no actual crime had occurred, even though it appeared, according to the CHP at first, that there was some type of pursuit and a standoff here at the home. The family does say that now they're going to try to talk to him, take him to a hospital to try to get him the medical attention.